In this video, I'm going to talk about how to measure current in series parallel circuit. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you guys can see this is a series parallel circuit. I'm going to talk how to measure the current in this circuit. Let's get started. First, click on simulate, then instruments, then multimeter. Now place it on the page. Then I will measure V1 current to see the current flowing in this circuit. So delete it, we'll break the circuit and connect with the one end with the V1 and another one with the R1. So this is how we measure current. Click on it and then click on ampere and then I have seven milliampere. This is the current going through the circuit. This is IS, my total current. Now get another multimeter and break the circuit for R1. So first I will place it and then delete it and then connect the positive one on the top side. Yes, this is how we measure the current. We have to break the circuit. If you don't break the circuit, you're not measuring current. 2 milliampere. Your resistor will blow out. Can get another multimeter and then do the same thing. Break the circuit. We measure current in series, not in parallel. We measure voltage in parallel, but we measure current with the multimeter in series. So connect this and do your wearing properly so that it look nice. Then run and then get the ampere, which is two milliampere. So the current flowing uh, through R1 and R2 is same because they are in series. R1 and R2 are in series but they are in uh, parallel with the total voltage. Now do the same thing with RT and M4. So you can connect it and then you can delete the middleware. This is another way of measuring the current. Yeah, so connect it and then delete the middle portion. Then you measure the current for both of them, R3 and R4. So measure them, we get 5 milliampere. So when you add them, when you add R1 and R2 is 2 milliampere, and so it's 2, so 2 going through this circuit. And then you measure R3 and R4, which is 5 milliampere. When you add 5 and 2, is the total one, which is 7 milliampere. So thanks you guys for watching my video. If you think I really helped you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment on my video. Thank you so much again.